Yeah, we did. Definitely, I thought the, the first 20 minutes was probably one of our best 20 of the, the year. Um, when the half time, we got comfortable. The only areas we had was coming out of yardage and just individual ones. So I thought, as a group, we done really well. And then oh, we'd be clunky in the second half. Um, you know, which can happen with fatigue at different stages. But the boys kept finding something, which is really important for us. Um, you know, we come here to win. We got to win. We haven't been able to do that too much in the past against a dog, so we're happy. Yeah, it's certainly a different uh, attitude, for sure. You know, the attitude comes from your belief, so our belief's strong. So obviously our attitude's there, and you know, the attitude, your behaviours, and your behaviour turns into action. So for us, we're, we're very happy to get the result on the back end of that. Yeah, for sure. It's something that we've worked on as a group. You know, we, at different stages, we certainly weren't thinking clearly enough in the second half, but we were still good enough to find something, uh, which is really important, uh, which is the most important thing in a game, is to come off the field knowing that you, you gave enough effort to get the result and you were thinking correctly f long enough to, uh, to win the game. It's a pretty important win for you too, I guess, given the context of the season, despite where the, the dogs are sitting on the table at the moment. Yeah, well, the Dogs have lost their last seven games now by less than six points, so they're not a team, I know everyone's kicking them, but they're a team that competes for very hard, and they're not far away from a win, so we knew that coming into the game, we knew they started well, so our start was important, we got that right. Uh, you know, we dropped off a little bit, but we, we found, it, found it again when we needed to, and, uh, you know, as again, they're not as bad a side as a lot of people are making out. Oh, I've been working on uh, part of Jason's game for a number of weeks and we'd been uh, talking a uh, play to coach quite often and we thought that Kurt Mann deserved an opportunity to start and uh, that's, how it's, that's how it worked out. And, um, yeah. Thanks, mate. Look, I can't see around corners, so I don't know what's going to happen next. Like, we've still got a couple of origins to get through. We've got a Denver test to get through. We've got a really tight schedule over the next month. Uh, we've got things in place. Our performance staff have got things in place. The players' prep's really good. They're, they're really looking after themselves week to week, uh, knowing that what the schedule is. Uh, so we'll just have to take one week at a time. Like, this week was a really good opportunity to play my five, uh, well, four origin players plus Tariq who'd been in camp because it was a five-day turn. They were all healthy. They all wanted to play. Um, so we'll just have to sort of, uh, you know, wait and look at our process in place and see what happens uh, post each game. Uh, we've got a five-day turn now going into Manly, so we'll see how we, uh, we pull up tomorrow. <laughs> Hang on to the ride, mate. Do you feel any sense of deja vu there, Gav? I guess a lot of talk is a build-up about round 26 last year. And was playing out the same way there, but he's got it done. Yeah, and oh, obviously, past few years it beat be as um, not the bell, but no, it's, it's a new year, different team, and yeah, although we didn't play our best football tonight, it was certainly pleasing to get the two points, and obviously the Origin boys backing up, doing a good job, and um, yeah, we scrapped out a win, which is which is tough in there. Is that something Mary spoke about last year? Might be one you do on the field and doing the way you were doing it. Do you feel like that? as a skipper on the field with the playing group that you can ride out those tougher moments and those tougher wins? Yeah, look, I'd like to think we've learned from the past. You know, we don't talk about it too often, but I'd like to think the players who were there last year have learned, learned from that. We've obviously added a fair few uh, experienced players to the team and uh, we've got a lot, lot of belief in, uh, in what we're about. And, you know, certainly, we're, we're playing with a lot of belief and, uh, like I said, that's got us home in the end. Yeah, talk about that. Who said he's not known for his defence? <laughs> uh, look, I, I, I'd, I'd like to wrap Paul Vaughan, to be honest with you, because he was actually the bloke on the inside of the chase that forced the bloke to the sideline. So, um, Vaughan had to chase someone 30, 40 metres, it's a winger. Um, I think it was Matoya. So, Duff, to put Duff in that position to make the tackle was really good. Duff to make the tackle was outstanding as well. So, you know, the pair of them there um, is what, it, what teams first. So, 
if you look at Vaughan's game where it's grown, I think it's because he's, he's willing to put others first. And, and that's one of them occasions where he's a front rower and he's pushing a guy towards the sideline so a fullback can make the tackle, and which ends up being over the sideline and wins the game for you. So between the pair of them, it was a, uh, you know, it was a moment that we needed. It was a, a, definitely a changing moment in the game, along, along with the one from the penalty from dummy half. The bloke hit the ball. Well, if you're kneeling or standing in the ruck and the ball hits you on the way to a person that's got to kick the ball, it's a penalty to us. That's how I read it. Uh, no, well, James, I wanted him on the field at the end of the game. That's for sure. And um, he was blowing hard at the back end of his stint, so I got him off and just gave him a couple of minutes spell to put him back out there, um, you know, to fill the moment. Uh, it was a big, big week for him. You know, he's it's been a big uh, feature in what the, the Bulldogs have done in the past, and he's a man of good character. Um, you know, and we're fortunate enough now to have that leader in our group. Um, so I need him to feel that experience at the back end of playing in a game against his old team. Mary, did you, I know you talk about trying to manage your workloads post these representative matches, but have you given thought to whether your rest players have before they go to Denver and what that or is it all going to be when they come back? So You're not going to Denver, are you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I, look, you know, we've, we've got things in place, but at the end of the day, you know, if, if Gareth, they go over there and play and, and they're, they're not right to play on the Thursday after it, they don't play. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. We're, we're sending a, our performance, one of our performance staff over there. So that's the most important thing. We're managing it well. Cheers.